إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمُ وَيُبَشِّرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَبِيرًا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah Azza wa Jal and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and all of his followers until the day of judgment uh, Today we are dealing with this great ayah from Surah Ibrahim Ayah number 18, Allah Azza wa Jal says, after A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ كَرَمَادٍ اشْتَدَّتْ بِهِ الْرِيحُ فِي يَوْمٍ عَاصِفٍ لَا يَقْدِرُونَ عَلَى لَا يَقْدِرُونَ مِمَّا كَسَبُوا عَلَى شَيْءٍ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الضَّلَالُ الْبَعِيدِ The meaning of this ayah is the example of those who disbelieve in their Lord is that their deeds are like ashes which the wind blows forcefully on a stormy day. They are unable to keep from what they have earned a single thing. That is what extreme, what is extreme error. Now this ayah is giving us a parable of something that is important. Sometimes we don't really think uh, deeply about this, where uh, the, this is the parable of those who disbelieve in Allah Azza wa Jal, they are doing good. Sometimes we are, um, you know, fond and, and um, uh, we admire those people who, although may not be uh, uh, believers, but, uh, you know, they, they are doing good, they're, they're uh, contributing, they donating money, they're helping the poor and the needy and so on and so forth. Yes, this is something that they will find the reward of or for in this life. However, on the day of judgment, nothing will be given to them. In fact, and even worse, is for Muslims who may do some, some good deeds. However, they may, uh, you know, abolish their reward by, uh, uh, you know, not doing it for Allah's sake, Azza wa Jal. That's why they will not find any of it on the Day of Judgment. Look at this parable where Allah says, uh, the example or the parable of those who disbelieve in their Lord is that their deeds are like ashes, are like ashes that, um, you know, uh, which the wind blows forcefully on a stormy day. Karamadin ishtaddat bihi rihu fi yawmin asif. You know, even they gathered this uh, uh, amount of good deeds that they think that they might have it. They are not believers. Yes, they may follow a religion other than Islam and they think they do it for Allah's sake. But Allah will not accept it because they're not true believers. You believe truly in Allah's Messenger, Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. You believe in the glorious Quran. Then you get the reward because you need to be on the right path. You need to believe fully and completely in the last message to humanity, to, to mankind and to the jinn that Allah revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Otherwise, uh, all the good deeds that you think that you're doing for the sake of Allah will not be of any value to you. It's just like ashes that uh, you collected and then now these, this ashes is so light and as soon as there is a wind that blows forcefully and strongly um, and then uh, on a, this stormy day will take them and then you will not be able to find anything. There will, they will not be anything that you'll find on the day of judgment. There, there's nothing. This is indeed what is extreme error. Dalal, this is the misguidance and, and, and far away that's gone so far in their own misguidance if they think that they are getting anything of that. This is important to be alert and to be careful that what you, if you do something good, you make it for Allah's sake. You make it 
uh, on the right way. And you shall uh, indeed have, uh, you know, your, your good deeds sincerely for Allah's sake and believe because Iman is the condition first. Because Allah says, They rejected Allah Azza wa Jal. They rejected the belief in, in, in Him, the belief in His Prophet, والسلام, the belief in the glorious Quran. So they rejected all of that. How could Allah would accept from them on the Day of Judgment? He will reward them in this life because Allah is so just, but He will not give them anything on the hereafter. وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا So we return to uh, what they presented um, of, of their deeds and it will be withered away. It will be gone just like uh, blown by a strong wind. فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا Distracted and disturbed and, 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 uh, and withered away. So may Allah keep us in the straight path. May He uh, Give us a strong iman in him and reward us for all what, you, what we do in this life in order to receive his blessings and win on the day of judgment. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا